What's up? It's your boy Chom Tom back with another review. All right, so I drove all the way down here to Rye, North Carolina to come to a restaurant to do a review. And come to find out they are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. I don't, I just don't understand that. Anyway, I was in the mood for some seafood and I Googled the nearest black owned seafood restaurant. And this place called Walking Crab came up. So I said, okay, cool. I'll do a review from my car from the walking crab. The first we're gonna try the, it looks like this is called the seafood bait, and uh, I'm gonna read what is on it. We have crab meat, shrimp and pasta baked in a creamy homemade Alfredo sauce with garlic bread. Okay, all right, cool. Creamy Alfredo sauce, huh? Whoa, is this what you guys call a, a seafood bait? And you call this seafood bait. So right here is not seafood bait. This is freaking water. Okay, we're gonna still try it. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Oh my God. What in the hell is this walking crap? Why are you selling customers this shit? This right here is the epitome of trash. So to whoever made this, all you did was put creamy homemade Alfredo sauce in there, noodles, shrimp, and you had the nerve, the audacity to put the seasoning on top of it all. As if I wasn't gonna dig in to find out that this whole damn thing wasn't seasoned at all. I can't believe y'all even, this looks like throw up right here. And I already know some of y'all gonna say, oh my God, won't you just stare it up? Staring it up is making it worse. This is what standing up does. That's what standing up does right there. One, two, three, four, so we got probably about five pieces of shrimp. $22 for five pieces of shrimp, water, noodles, and seasoning. Y'all got some damn nerve. On a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this a freaking one. My stomach hurting already, y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through. So next, we got the catfish plate right here. Can't show y'all the whole plate because it's gonna like kind of fall everywhere, but that's the catfish right there. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice size catfish for $16, you know what I mean? But hopefully, you know what I'm saying, this tastes better than the first plate. This is, okay. My question to Walking Crab is, why are you selling this bullshit? This right here, this piece of fish right here, all this is is fried fish that has came out of the fryer and you sprinkle some seasoning on top of this. You did not cook this with love. And I can't even believe you even did this to me. Y'all are really selling customers low quality food. And this right here can be fixed. All it needs is just some love. It needs just some seasoning, some old bay, some salt, some pepper. Just some simple stuff. But y'all too damn lazy to even do the simple stuff. But I will try the potatoes. So you guys can see the potatoes right there. Mm -hmm. They look pretty good, they look pretty good. They all right. They a little undercooked, but they okay. This corn don't look good at all, y'all. What in the hell is this? What are y'all selling us? Corn tastes like it's it's burnt. It's definitely overcooked with no flavor. And this thing right here, see that right there? That right there needs some help, man. Whoever is back there cooking this BS needs to stop, man. This right here is trash all the way around. Okay, so you sell me unseasoned fish. You sell me undercooked potatoes and over cook corn yeah y'all just this is pathetic man oh by the way i'm giving this a two <sighs> ladies and gentlemen this right here i mean i don't even i don't even have the energy to do anything else my mind is just thrown off right now all right so these right here these right here are the lobster fries. And it says, seasoned fries topped with lobster meat then covered in our garlic cheese sauce. So I got the sauce on the side. We're gonna cover up the fries with the cheese sauce. Before we do that, we're gonna taste the fries to see if the fries are seasoned. But it does say seasoned fries. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this on these fries, man, cause this, oh, this has been a day. This has been a day. Is this imitation lobster? This definitely looks like imitation lobster. As you guys can see right there, th this is, I can almost bet this is not real lobster. So the sauce is okay. The fries are not seasoned. And I'm almost willing to bet you right here, this ain't real lobster. I could be wrong, and I hope I am wrong, 
Y'all can check me in the comments below, but I can almost bet you right now, this is not real lobster. Okay, so on a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this a four. You know what, I do wanna call and see what they're gonna say. I wanna see if they're gonna admit to it being fake lobster. Thank you for choosing the walking crab and garnish. How may I help you? The uh, lobster fries, is that real lobster or is it imitation lobster? Give me one moment, sir. Okay. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Um, um, yes, it's uh, the lobster meat. We use lobster meat. Is it the imitation or not? Um, I don't think it's the imitation. It's definitely imitation. Areas of improvement. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the positive. So when I walked into this restaurant, I loved it. It was red and black themed. They had the warmers on the left, they had the digital menu, they had the cake right there on the right hand side, and they also had a board that was telling everyone the times of their food truck. What I did not like about this restaurant is they had paint that was coming off the wall. Yeah, I, I, I just couldn't get jiggy with that. And again, you know, it, it can be fixed. Just, you, you, you can't be lazy. That looks very, very, very tacky but a positive they had a 94 for sanitation score so i mean they they are pretty clean i guess dislikes <sighs> Woo. oh man where do we start let's start with that creamy homemade alfredo sauce seafood bake trash i'm gonna need for you guys to learn how to cook man because what y'all baking right now y'all are baking bull and i cannot believe that i spent damn near 60 dollars on just a big pile of dark brown heaping and on top of that i drove an hour and a half down here for this for this it's freaking amazing i mean for y'all to season y'all food and i mean all of it the fish the potatoes the corn the fries all that so if you're gonna charge as much for food i'm gonna need for y'all to come with it i'm gonna need for y'all to come with some quality instead of this bullshit because right now Oh, I will come back, but y'all got some work to do. Don't sell me $60 of unseasoned BS. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? I will say, when I brought my food back in there the first time, Victoria, if you watch this video, you were great. Took my food out of the bag, you helped me clean it up, you helped it get remade, and your service was just awesome. So if you watch this video again, I appreciate you. As for the managers and the cooks and all that in this restaurant, I'm gonna need for y'all to start measuring up, man. There's way too many seafood joints around here that's better than this. And now my damn stomach hurts. Although my food wasn't the best, I still recommend anyone that's watching this video to go to walk-in crowd. Although my experience was the best, I hope yours will be just a little bit better. That's the end of the restaurant that's watching this video. We are recovering from a pandemic. If you need me to do a restaurant review on your restaurant, hit your boy up on Facebook at Chom Time or hit your boy up on Instagram at Mr. Chom Time. That's for all my fans. I love y'all, man. Like, I really do love y'all. Mm. But until next time, peace!